Today we're making Wonka's eatable marshmallow pillow. And yes, eatable is a word in the Wonka dictionary. Hi everyone, I'm Brighton and welcome to Fatal Literature. Four and a half tablespoons of unflavored gelatin, three fourths of a cup of cold water, one fourth of a teaspoon of salt, five tablespoons of vanilla essence, we've got one cup glucose syrup, a mix of half a cup of icing sugar or powdered sugar and half a cup of cornstarch, we've mixed that together. Three cups of white sugar and we've got one third of a cup of water as well. We are going to take our gelatin, we're going to pour this into the mixer and you're also going to take your three fourths of a cup of water and pour that in as well. And all you're going to do is just let that sit for about 10 minutes. For the shape, I've got a book cake pan and we're just gonna use half of it. So if you have a spray oil, that's great, but I'm all out today. So what I'm gonna do is just take some paper towel and some oil, and we're just gonna wipe down half of one of these sides. Then you're gonna take some baking paper. So I'm gonna get one so it fits perfectly this way. I'm gonna take another so it runs the opposite direction. So there's one thing you do not want, it's marshmallow sticking to everything. And believe me, it sticks to everything. Take this and your mix of your corn starch and your powdered sugar. And that way we're just gonna be able to sift a layer all the way along. It's just gonna help everything from sticking. So we're gonna have that heating up. So what we're gonna do is take our white sugar, pour that's two cups there and your third cup here. Take your one third of a cup of water, pour that in, and then you're going to take your one cup of your glucose syrup or your corn syrup. And if it happens to be winter time or it's just really firm, you can just heat this in the microwave for five, ten seconds at most, and it'll just help soften it to make it easier to get out of the container. Okay, and what we're going to do is let that come to a boil. If we can, we're going to try stirring this. Basically, you can keep stirring until everything is incorporated. Then what you're going to do is let this come to a boil, but don't stir. Just let it keep boiling. Sometimes you can take a pastry brush and just dab that with some water and just wipe down the edges just so it doesn't burn. And then what we're going to do is use our candy thermometer and pop that in and just wait until it's 121 degrees Celsius. At most, apparently, you can have it up to 130 degrees Celsius. Either side of that, you aren't going to get marshmallow. So it has hit 100 and 21. As I said, you can have up to 130 at the absolute max. Take this and pour this in with the gelatin water mix. Ooh. It's bubbling and boiling and going crazy. <laughs> so what we're going to do is pop this down and just start it on high. You're also going to take your quarter teaspoon of salt and you're just going to mix this on high for 15 minutes. When it's getting close to that 15 minute mark, this is where you can add your vanilla. Alright, so you need to move pretty quickly with this one. Grab your spatula. Do that. Try to get as much of this off as possible because it's going to drip and stick. Plus, you want as much as you can going into the pillow. Yeah. So take that. See if you can get it evenly. And believe me, this is one big sticky mess. So you're going to need a little bit of arm power to get the rest of this out. Keep spreading that so it fills up the whole half of the pan. It's probably as good as it's going to get. So you just want to make sure it's just to that half side as well. And this is where your extra powder is going to come in handy. You might want to take that, and just sprinkle it. So what you can do is just bend that over and just smooth it out. Now you're probably gonna want something just to hold this up because at the moment it's still really quite gooey and gooey so it's not holding its form just yet. 
And what we're going to do is sort of pop something up against it just to hold it there. And then you're just going to let it set aside for a few hours and just let it cool. And then you're going to be able to pop it into your marshmallow pillowcase. And then it's all done.